Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplication as comparison. This is standard 3.5c, a great state of Texas. And we are using item number 28 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So this looks like a fairly simple problem. We only have a 2 times 18 down here, but if you notice our answer selections, F, G, H, and J, they are all going to be sentences because we, in this standard, have to describe multiplication as comparison. So let's look at the problem. There are 18 spoons in a drawer. This expression represents the number of forks in the same drawer. So let's just draw a big drawer and I'm just going to put spoons and I'll put forks over here. Sometimes it's it's good just to go ahead and visualize it. So I don't feel like drawing 18 spoons, but I'm just going to use tally marks. So I'm going to pretend that these tally marks are my spoons. So I've got 15. There we go. I've got 18 spoons. Now, this expression, so this this word expression right here refers to this. An expression is kind of like an equation, but an expression has no equal sign. So that's what the word expression means. So an expression is 2 plus 3. That's an expression. If I add an equals 5, now I've turned it into an equation. So that's the difference. So that's when you see that word expression, we're just looking at an operation or maybe two or three operations with no equal signs. Represents the number of forks. So I'm represent, I need to represent spoons and forks. And my only clue is is 2 times 18. Well, this 18 has got to be my spoons because we've already labeled that. So if I did want to turn this into an equation, I could probably say that force or F equals 2 times 18 because it says the number of forks can be expressed here. So the number of forks equals 2 times 18. Well, let's look to see what our answer selections are and see what equations we get there. So there are two more spoons than forks in the drawer. So two more spoons than forks. So if we were going to take our spoons, that's going to equal our forks plus two. So our spoons, and we know our spoons are 18. So let's just do this. Let's just say 18. 18, our spoons are 18, and that's going to equal F plus 2. Well, maybe. How many forks do we have? Let's Before we keep reading, let's see if we can figure out how many forks we do have. It says 2 times 18. So let's look at this as 2 times as many. So if I've got 18 forks, I need two sets of 18. So I'm going to just draw one set of 18 here. It's a big drawer. I'll draw another set of 18 right next to it. So 18 and 18. So really, my spoons are 18, and 18 and 18 make 36. So does that make sense that your 18 spoons is going to make 36 plus 2? No, that doesn't make any sense. There are two more forks than spoons. So my forks equals my spoons and then plus. You notice this more than... Right, we're just using a, a, an addition sign there. So forks, we know we have 36 forks. So does that make sense that I can say 36 equals 18 plus two? No, that doesn't make any sense. There we go. Now times, look at that. That's what we're needing because that's our multiplication right there. But now we got to figure out which way it is. Two times as many forks as spoons. So forks equals spoons times two. Or we've got spoons equals forks times 2. That's what H and J say. So let's see what we have here. Our forks, remember, is 36. I'm going to look at H. So 36 equals our spoons of 18 times 2. Yes, that is going to be our answer. This J has got that flipped. So the answer is H.